Wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. You do not, this is unfortunately what you do not want to see at this point with the recovery efforts trying to continue on. But this line of storms it does appear to be moving northward, so more Oklahoma may start raining with a lot of lightning there pretty soon. I want to bring in Dr. Forbes with us, our storm expert, to talk a little bit more about some of the damage that you saw there in Moore. Dr. Forbes, tell me what you've seen. Give us the latest. Yeah, Greg, we got here early yesterday evening, so we were able to see the damage with several hours or for several hours of daylight. Uh, it is just mind-boggling the extent of the damage here. Everything has been destroyed, all of the homes, uh, for about a three-block stretch behind us, three-block wide, and then as far as the eye can see, it goes at least a mile down to the next school. We're at one elementary school on this side. The other that has had the fatalities is, is down to the east. The, Homes that were uh, all here are now piles of rubble. The debris from them flew, and we've had huge objects that have flown in. A huge uh, tank, it's about the size of a railroad tanker car, flew in. We we're told that it came from about a half mile away. So that's the kind of extreme missile that uh, gets me to thinking that this is going to be an EF-5 tornado. That's what I've told by email to the National Weather Service. Uh, big chunks of concrete have flown at least 75 yards off the school into neighbor's yard. So it's a scene of utter destruction. Uh, pieces of uh, two by fours, two by sixes driven into the ground like javelins. Um, anything you can imagine, basically horrendous, has occurred in this tornado, Greg. Yeah, thanks, Dr. Forrest. I mean, I w agree with you. I would not be surprised to see this updated to uh, an EF-5 tornado. Uh, the damage that I've seen is comparable to the worst that I've ever seen, and I've been looking at these things for a long time, as obviously you have as well. Um, you know, I'll, Dr. Forbes, if, if we got, uh, well, well, I guess we'll go back to Maria right now, but I do want to talk a little bit later about some of the uh, data that we were getting from the radars yesterday. So we'll talk about that next time, Dr. Forbes, so stay with us if you will. I'm going to send it back to Maria right now in the studio. All right, Dr. Postel, thank you so much. And yeah, the, the data is absolutely incredible. Well, from the Great Lakes to Texas, the tornado threat remains imminent today. Coming up on Wake Up With Al, where the expert analysis will show. The